So I've taken Greg Doucette. He's been challenging me to his deadlift record. It's a fake record in the way that sumo isn't a lift, but we're gonna give it a crack anyway. So I've never done, well, I have done sumo a couple of times. I never trained sumo. The record is a little over 20,000 pounds. You have under, you have to do it in under a minute. I'm gonna have a crack at 597. I have to hit 35 reps. 34 to to, reps. 34? 34. 34 to break the record. What do you think? Do you have a chance? I think you can do it. Yeah? What can with this no, guy not do? With no sumo experience, you think there's a chance? This is just how freaky this man is. I think he can do it. <laughs> Let's see how we go. Maybe you're gonna become a, maybe you'll become a sumo deadlifter after all. If you set the record, <laughs> how could you stop? Yeah. After this, if he sets the record, I've already pre-challenged him. There's a record for most sumo deadlifted in an hour. Yeah, no thank you. No, no thank way. you. <laughs> I'll do the hour if you do a day. Hey, I might. Yeah. We'll go head to head. <laughs> Strange movement. All of you who do sumo, strange. Then my wingspan is, is longer than my height. Which helps you deadlift. So I actually, which helps my deadlift, but weakens my bench press. But you're good And I'm like, I have the world yeah. record in the bench. So yeah. which is it guys? Do I have short or long arms? But what I do have is, short tibias, yeah. so I have a long upper body, which is not really great for deadlift, but short tibias, definitely great. And you're a bit of a shit squatter then, comparatively. Squat's my absolute worst event. Here it is, his last warm up set as he prepares for eventually he's gonna be doing 597 pounds, going for 34 reps, and he's not even a sumo deadlifter, but let's see his technique. It's quick. Looks very light, his elbows are bent. It's almost as if he's gonna clean and jerk the weight. And so the record he's trying to set is most weight sumo deadlifted in a minute. And so I did just over 20,000 pounds. It was 402 and a half pounds for 50 reps. Did it in 50 seconds, but you have a full minute to do it, 60 seconds. And so for me, for preparation, I think doing triathlons my entire childhood, getting that good cardiovascular base, followed by years of doing powerlifting, having done both of those, that allowed me to set the, the world record. So for me, in competition, it's no problem to get like excited to get the adrenaline. You're just amped, yeah. In training, sometimes it's, it's a bit scary because I never bother trying to get amped in yeah. training. Did you watch my Did you watch my full Tom Platt squat video? I did, all of it, yep. Like beforehand, I'm like, it's probably not gonna happen, but we'll try. The, <laughs> and the day before, you did like 460 for 20, and then it was like a 525 for 24. So you jumped yeah. like 65 pounds, In but it was week, like the yeah. motivation because there's like, now I have a goal. Well, I didn't even know it existed, yeah. Yeah, yeah. When, yeah like when you're in the gym. And, and then, you, I mean, if you're gonna do, it, cause I had a set of 20 on the program, I had a set of 20 at 485 yeah. or something. And I'm like, hey, it's gonna hurt way less to break a record and do a few more reps. Yeah. Three lip talks. Get ready for pain. I've been here before. Once you get down, I'll start to, I'll do the three, two, one. This way, I'll tell you when. You tell me when I can say, and I'll go three, two, one. Yeah. All right, he's just setting up, getting ready to go. Count me down. Three, two, one, start. Four. Ten seconds. Fifteen. He's taking a breather, getting his strength back. Nice. Thirty seconds. <laughs> and so how tiring is it how hard was that 
It's, I'll, I'll be honest. It's more awkward than anything. And so a lot of people say sumo cheating. Did that look hard to you? Did it look like you, you tried? It, it was not easy. The hardest part is once you get tired out, then it's like, where do you go from there? Yeah. And there's not a whole lot of fighting when you're tired. And I think if, if you were to redo it, I think with a slightly lower weight, you could have got more of the speed and kept it going. I think you would have probably gotten a bit more reps. But if you worked at it, I'm sure you could do it. It just probably takes more practice. I think if I trained that for a few weeks and got, I've never done sumo before in my life. No, I mean, I, <laughs> I literally practiced for six months straight of just doing this high reps. I had it down to an art. I was doing it all the time. He's just walking off with sore legs from fighting the day before, not even doing sumo, and he's getting how many reps? 22 reps. He only needed 12 more, so he's not that far off. Oh, pretty far off. Let's be honest. Well, 12, 12 more reps of training, you would be surprised how fast you get that. I'd probably say in a month or two, you'd probably get it. Probably, but yeah. you've got the record. You know yourself. Good job, though. It's tiring after. I was sore for four days after. Yeah. It, like, completely wrecks you, like, because... You're going so hard, it's like almost past that point of pain and you just keep going and... But for me, like, I'm not that tired. You're used I don't have to the, this I don't have probably. the coordination. Yeah. And so, it's figuring out the coordination. It's not using my maximal strength. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. If I practice, I'll be able to get closer. And, I mean, you're probably more used to sets like this in strongman, doing events for a minute. Most people come in the gym, they might do a set of five. Yeah. It's not really that taxing. Yeah. But when you start getting 20 and 30 and 40 reps, it's just, it's a different ball game. 100%. Yeah, like that's, that squat, that must have been way more hard than this. 100%, because I'm just, used to that. Yeah. I can use, I can use my All whole capacity. It. Yeah. But this, you need to work into using your whole capacity, which gets you to specificity. The same reason why, I would lose a bench press contest to any decent powerlifting bencher because we don't do it. Right. We don't do sumo. But if you gave a bit of time training, I reckon. And so do you think you could get more reps conventional? Like with the same weight, could you pull 600 for over 20 reps conventional? Yeah. Nice. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, so there is, in fact, the most weight sumo deadlifted in a minute conventional, and so I've been encouraging them, like, contact Guinness and, and set that record. It's actually a lot lower. It's really? a lot easier to break. Yeah. Because obviously you're traveling further distance, so Bigger range. I'd love to see you break it. If we multiply weight by range of motion, the do you reckon I beat you? The watts by a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm only 5'6". I only have to move the bar about a foot and a half. He's moving it, like, three feet here. It's, like, it's a big difference. Yeah. Record jokes. All right, so Good to see you. now we have to put me through some uh, crazy stuff.